Hey guys, so for today's video, I did a second look with the Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. I do gotta say that I love the look that I came up with today, just like this whole vibe in general. I'm really liking it. So if you wanna see how I got this look and my updated thoughts on this palette, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, we are back again today with the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I am ready to give it a second chance. I did try this palette out for the first time a few weeks ago and I made a whole video about it and I wasn't very impressed with it. If you wanna check out that video, I will link it down below for you. And I don't wanna repeat myself too too much but I just wasn't really impressed with this palette especially the gel shades like this one I tried them as an eyeliner in that video because on the website it says they are a gel aligner hybrid so I tried it as a liner and it honestly sucked so for today's look I want to try to use these shades as a base which is what like everyone in the comments recommended I also wanted to mention that my brush set with Sigma will be 15% off today through Wednesday so November 7th through 9th my brush set rarely goes on sale so if you've been wanting to pick it up now is a great time to do that so i will be using some of those brushes today we have the e35 the e25 the e21 the e30 and the l05 all right let's dig into this palette so i'm going to take the gel shade worthy on a sigma e57 all right let's give this a shot all over the lid <laughs> I am adding a little bit more and I am just bringing that on my lid. I'm not gonna blend it in my crease at all. Okay, I do think that applied well as a base. Now on the same brush, I'm gonna take Courageous and as I'm looking at this, it kind of has like a brown to pink shift. So I'm kind of excited to see that on the eye. So I'm using the same exact brush. I'm gonna pat that on top of the gel. The shade is like breaking apart on me right now. Do not get on my new shirt. And the reason you would use a gel underneath a shadow like this is just to make it really pop and kind of like lock the shadow in place. Okay, I kind of want to try my finger with this shade. Oh, that's much better. This kind of reminds me of one of the shimmers from the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. It's almost kind of like that multi-chrome, but oh, it's actually really pretty. All right, let's do the same on this eye. So starting with that Worthy Gel Base, then using my finger with that Courageous shade. All right, now we're gonna do some blending because this is not a cute look. So I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 and I'm just gonna start to blend in the crease. So I'm just trying to gently bring up those shades on my lid into my crease and then I will add another color. So I'm going to pick up the shade Big Dreams on the same E25 and I'm going to blend this shade in the crease. Now I really need a lighter shade to blend underneath my brow, so I'm just gonna take a skin tone colored eyeshadow on a Sigma E27 and blend right under my brow. All right, so here's what this eye looks like all blended out, and let's work on this one now. So taking that Big Dreams color, and then taking a skin tone colored shadow and blending out this harsh line. All right, I feel like those shades did blend out pretty well, especially with the gel base underneath. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this look as always, but I think I wanna deepen up the outer corner a bit. So I'm gonna take the shade Confident on a Sigma E30. All right, and adding that to the outer part of my lid. This is kind of like the same tone as that shimmer that's on my lid, but I just want to add a little more depth out here. So I'm just really pressing on this shadow with this pencil brush. And it might not look like it's making much of a difference, but here's the before and after. It's just slightly darker. And then going back to that E27 I was just using and using that to softly blend around this dark shade. <laughs> 
And this I will lightly bring up into my crease. I do really like the shade of this confident shade, but I always love like a good purpley brown deep matte. It's just gorgeous. I feel like the shade's kind of making the whole look come together. All right, now I think I want to add one of the gold shades just to add a little bit more of a pop since this is looking just so dark right now. So there are two gold shades in the palette and they are pretty similar, honestly. I want to try Charisma, so I'm going to take that on my Sigma LO4 and I want that on the inner part of the lid. But I don't want to cover up too much of that purpley shimmer. I'm kind of just going about like a third of the way in. Then I'm going to take a little more of that purple courageous shimmer on my brush and just kind of merge that with the gold. So it kind of has a nice blend from that gold to that shimmery purple to that dark outer corner. All right, I do really like how that looks. I'm gonna go pop on my face makeup off camera and then we'll finish up the eyes together. All right, my face makeup is done. Let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back to that big dream shade on my E30 and I'm gonna blend that along my entire lower lash line. Now I'm gonna pick up more of that confident shade and use that to deepen up the lower lash line even more. Now there aren't really any light highlighter shades in the palette, so I'm gonna take the highlighter I used on my face, which is Sigma Savannah. So I'm using my Sigma E21 and popping that in my inner corner. I'm gonna go pop on my mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the full face. All right, my mascara and lashes are on. For my lashes, I'm wearing my brand, The Bright Lashes in the style Lush. All right, here is what the full face looks like. I also went ahead and did my hair off camera. I was filming a little TikTok. I've been getting so many questions on how I style my hair like this and it's super freaking easy. So I will post a short and a TikTok and a reel of it soon. So if you're on any of those platforms, you will see how I do my hair. On my lips, I'm wearing the Sigma Liquid Lipstick in Suede. And you might be saying, Angela, I thought you hate liquid lipsticks and I do, but but I really wanted kind of a deep, slightly cool tone color. And I don't have that in any like regular lipstick formulas. So I pulled this one out. I did put a lot of lip balm underneath. So it feels pretty good on my lips, but I love how this color looks with the eyes. Last time I wore a dark lip, it was in my last video with the Rose Metals palette. Everyone was like obsessed with it. So I kind of wanted to try just switching on my lip color today. And I just love how my makeup looks today. So I will say that I had a much better time playing with this palette today than I did the first time. I really felt just more inspired and creative today in general. There is no doubt that Huda's formula really is amazing. Like all of the matte shades blended out beautifully in my crease. I love the shimmers. Even that gold right there, I just love how that kind of changed the look a little bit. And I gotta say the gel formula did work much better as a base underneath an eyeshadow rather than as an eyeliner. Like it really sucks as an eyeliner, which is kind of shitty because that is one way that they market this type of eyeshadow, but it just does work best as a base. I'm kind of curious if I think I could get the same look with the My Dream palette because again, everyone's just comparing the these two palettes together. This shade might be kind of close to what's in my crease, a little bit of black maybe. Um, this gold doesn't really match the gold on my lid. And as far as kind of the purple shimmer, I feel like the multi-chrome might be the closest. So you could get something similar, but it's definitely not gonna be exact. So I definitely like this palette a lot more than I did the first time. Is it my favorite palette? No, I do still think the shades are very dark. And I do feel like this palette is more meant for the person who does like to do more dark, deep, smoky eyeshadow looks. So if you do like to do those kinds of looks and these shades speak to you, by all means, pick up this palette. I don't think you'll be disappointed but out of these two palettes I'm still a sucker for my dream I do still want to do maybe like one more look with this palette because there are a few shades I haven't gotten a chance to use yet specifically like a lot of these kind of warmer ones right here so let me know if you want to see another look with this palette I would be happy to do so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe